Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 24. Yoash was seven years old when he began to reign, and he reigned forty years in Yerushalayim. His mother's name also was Siva Yah, rather, Sivya of Be'er Shiva. And Yoash did that which was right in the sight of Yahweh all the days of Yahuyada the priest. And Yahuyada took for him two women, and he begat sons and daughters. And it came to pass after this that Yoash was minded to repair at the house of Yahuwah. And he gathered together at the priests and the Levim, and said to them, Go out unto the cities of Yahudah, and gather of all Yashadael, money to repair at the house of your Elohim from year to year, and see that ye hasten the matter. Howbeit, the Leveim hasted it not. And the king called for Yahuyada the chief, and said unto him, Why have you not required of the Leveim to bring in out of Yahudah and out of Yerushalayim at the collection according to the commandment of Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, and of the assembly of Yashadael, for the tabernacle of witness, for the sons of Athaliahu, that wicked woman, had broken up at the house of Elohim, and also all the dedicated things of the house of Yahuwah did they bestow upon Baalim, and all the king's commandment, they made a chest, Rather, and at the king's commandment, they made a chest and set it without at the gate of the house of Yahuwah. And they made a proclamation through Yahudah and Yerushalayim to bring in to Yahuwah the collection that Moshe, the servant of Elohim, laid upon Yashadael in the wilderness. And all the princes and all the people rejoiced and brought in and cast into the chest until they had made an end. Now it came to pass that at what time eth the chest was brought unto the king's office by the hand of the Leviim. And when they saw that there was much money, the king's scribe and the high priest's officer came and emptied eth the chest and took it and carried it to his place again. Thus they did day by day, and gathered money in abundance. And the king in Yahuyada gave it to such as did the work of the service of the house of Yahuwah, and hired masons and carpenters to repair at the house of Yahuwah, and also such as wrought iron and brass to mend the house of Yahuwah. So the workmen wrought, and the work was perfected by them, and they set at the house of Elohim in his state, and strengthened it. And when they had finished it, they brought the rest of the money before the king and Yahuyada, eth whereof were made vessels for the house of Yahuwah, even vessels to minister, and to offer withal, and spoons, and vessels of gold and silver. And they offered burnt offerings in the house of Yahuwah continually all the days of Yahuyada. But Yahuyada waxed old and was full of days when he died. A hundred and thirty years old was he when he died. And they buried him in the city of David among the kings, because he had done good in Yashadael both toward Elohim and toward his house. Now after the death of Yahuyada came the princes of Yahuda and made obeisance to the king. Then the king hearkened unto them. And they left at the house of Yahuwah Elohai of their fathers and served eth Asherah and eth idols. And wrath came upon Yahuda and Yerushalayim for this their trespass. Yet he sent prophets to them to bring them again unto El Yahweh, and they testified against them, but they would not give ear. 
and the Ruach Elohim came upon Eth Zakariahu, the son of Yahuyada, the priest, which stood above the people, and said unto them, Thus says Elohim, Why transgress ye Eth the commandments of Yahuwah, that ye cannot prosper? Because ye have forsaken Eth Yahuwah, he has also forsaken you. And they conspired against him, and stoned him with stones at the commandment of the king in the court of the house of Yahuwah. Thus Yoash the king remembered not the kindness which Yahuyada his father had done to him, but slew at his son. And when he died, he said, Yahuwah, look upon it and require it. And it came to pass at the end of the year that the hosts of Aram came up against him, and they came to El Yahuda and Yerushalayim, and destroyed at all the princes of the people from among the people, and sent all the spoil of them unto the king of Damascus. For the army of the Aramim came with a small company of men, and Yahuwah delivered a very great host into their hand, because they had forsaken at Yahuwah Elohai of their fathers. So they executed judgment against, against Eth Yoash, and when they were departed from him, for they left him in great diseases, his own servants conspired against him for the blood of the sons of Yahuyada, the priest, and slew him on his bed, and he died. And they buried him in the city of David, but they buried him not in the sepulchres of the kings. And these are they that conspired against him, Zavad, the son of Shimath, and Ammonith, and Yahuzavad, the son of Shimrith, a Moavi. Now concerning his sons, and the greatness of the burdens laid upon him, and the repairing of the house of Elohim, behold, they are written in the story of the Sefer of the kings. And Amatz Yahu, his son, reigned in his stead.